All new at five, take a look at this video. RTV6 is there as police arrest a suspect in what they tell us is a horrible case of child abuse. Our Drew Smith has obtained the court documents telling us what exactly happened, and he joins us live downtown. Drew. Todd, the young boy is here at Riley Hospital for children in critical condition today. This affidavit we uh, got from the prosecutor's office, it indicates that the boy's mother, Jalyn Dawson, and her boyfriend, Donald Stubbs, beat and abused this little toddler so badly that he suffered a broken jaw, a perforated intestine, and respiratory failure. We have some exclusive video to show you right now of Jalyn Dawson's arrest from earlier today by police. The 22-year-old is facing three felony neglect of dependent charges. According to court documents, Dawson told doctors that the boy had drank toilet water, and shortly after that, she called 911. That was on June 28th. Stubbs is facing seven felony charges in the case. He allegedly beat the young boy with a belt. Court documents also reveal that Stubbs and Dawson tied up the little boy. Court documents reveal that the abuse was from June 25th to the 29th. Stubbs' young son told investigators that Stubbs hit the boy hard on his stomach and he had his hand attached to the door. He also told investigators that the toddler's feet and hands were tied. Detectives found text messages between the suspects where Stubbs texted this, quote, I'll rap to you when I get back. Is he still tied? Dawson replied, he got his hands loose while I was asleep, but he ain't move. Now, the court documents reveal that the young boy, the two-year-old, had cuts, bruises, and scratches all over his body, including open cuts on his chest and his back. The two suspects will have a preliminary court hearing tomorrow morning. Reporting outside Riley Hospital for Children, Drew Smith, RTV6. Very, very sad, Drew. Thank you for that.